Hi, my name is Hunter and I'm an Applications Engineer here with Hawkridge Systems. And today we're going to be talking about how you can create styles in SOLIDWORKS Composer in order to create more consistent visual output. So for an example, let's make a style for a simple label. So let's apply a label to an actor and we'll make some changes to the property manager for this actor and we're going to keep track of what changes we make. So I'm going to change the text color, the text font, and the text size. I'm also going to change the attach type. I'll change the shape of the label and maybe the color associated with it. And now let's say I'm happy with the changes I've made. So I'll go to the Styles Workshop under Workshops and Styles and I'll choose New Style and this is going to be my Label Style. Whatever actor I select, as long as I have the workshop open, will reflect what properties I see in the Styles Workshop. So notice I get a certain set of properties right now with nothing selected, whereas if I select my label, I get a different set of properties. First thing I want to make sure is what type of actors is this style going to be applied to. A generic style will be applied to any actor, but I want this style to be only available for actors of the annotations type. And I know that annotations is the correct answer because that is where labels are located on my toolbar. Just like if I was making a style for 2D text boxes, I would choose the panels family. So this is going to be an annotation style. And let's turn on the properties for color, font, size. Notice it's mirroring the properties with whatever actor I currently have selected. Also the attach type. And also the shape and color of the actor. So I don't have to save anything now. I can just quit the workshop and that style is now available to me in my styles pane. And as long as I have a annotation actor selected, I see that style. Notice if I select, for example, in a geometry actor, I don't get that style because the style has been specified only to apply to annotations. So to use that style, we'll create an actor, maybe another label, And with that actor selected, I can go to the Styles tab and double click on Labels. And it applies all the property changes that I wanted. I have the Auto Subscribe button turned on. So what that means is if I look at the properties for that actor now, we see that some of the properties I cannot change because they are controlled by the style. Furthermore, if I make a change to the style itself, those changes will be reflected in this actor. If I hit unsubscribe, then I can now make a change to the properties for that actor as I see fit. Let's say this particularly one, or this particular one I want to be square. I can do that. If I want that style to be applied by default to all labels, I'll right click on it up in the styles tab on my toolbar and say set as default. Now, let's add another label and you'll see that by default, it applies all of the different property changes controlled by that style. So in today's video, we covered how you can create styles in SOLIDWORKS Composer so you can consistently achieve the proper visual output that you want. Thank you for watching.